and welcome to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. I'm doing quite well myself. Today we're going to be playing a brand new game called Cattails. It's actually in the beta at the moment guys. So if you're looking to purchase this game, please do not go looking for it. It is literally only in the beta. If you would like this game, it is being released in uh, December. There are options however if you want to get access to the beta version of it. Um, if you go to their Twitter or their website, you will uh, find links to it. I will also link them in the description. Um, but the Cattails developers were actually sweet enough to provide me with a code for this game and that is how I am able to play it and how I'm able to play it for you guys. So let's get straight into it. Look at this game guys, the artwork is so cute. It's a cat game, it's a pixel uh, style game which you guys know I love with Stardew Valley and also other games I've played on my channel. And this one is based all around cats. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's actually go to a new game. Look at this, the cursor is even a little cat paw. Okay, so we can actually create um, five different cats, which is kind of cool. Now I do know that if you were in the uh, Kickstarter for this game, you could have created your own little cat skin, which is kind of nice. But let's go ahead and go to the empty slot up here, and we can actually name a cat. Did you hear that noise? Oh my gosh, okay. So we're gonna name this cat Fiacra, because that is a name that I would like to name it. It is a good Irish name. Uh, so there we go, Fikra. Uh, let's press enter. So let's give her our cat maybe a white color. Gray. Mm. We can make it a tabby. Ooh, I kind of like the tabby. And then we give her pink eyes, maybe Ooh, green eyes. Ooh, that's pretty. I kind of want a gray. No, we're gonna go. We're gonna go. We're gonna go with the tabby with the tabby orange color. Oh, with moss covered eyes. Oh, Fikra, you look so pretty. Okay, let's go ahead and create our little kitty. Okay, so we're in a shelter. Yeah, because those are rabbits. Oh, look, we found someone. Oh, she looks nice. Hello, human. Okay, we're on the way home. We seem pretty happy. Oh, look, she bought us a bed and everything. Oh, she looks so nice. It looks like we're having like such a perfect little time. Okay, are they at work or something? Oh, look, we kind of grew up. Okay. Oh. Oh no. Oh, she's getting given out to. Wait. Are we moving house? Were we kicked out? Did they? Did they abandon? Fikra, you deserved better. Oh no, 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 no. Rumbling Stone Central. Oh no, no, no. Okay. Oh! Hey! What are you doing out here? Huh? We look so cute! Oh, look at this little tabby. Or, he's not a tabby, but he's a, he's a cat. He's a tabby cat, I want to say. You don't look like you're from around here. Coco. I'm Coco, by the way. Why don't you come over here and tell me your name? Okay. You can move your cat with ASDW on the keyboard. Try it out and talk to Coco. Alright. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look at this. You can see our cat from little all angles. Oh, Fikra, you're so pretty. Okay, so what have we got here? So we've got a health bar. Obviously, we've got a hunger bar. We have an inventory. We have items. Okay, we have no items. Oh, look, there's a map over here. Uh, we'll have a look at that in a second. Um, we have skills. So we have hunting, fighting, swimming, foraging. They're passive skills. Okay, what are active skills? So increases your, your running ability. 
Use your infested area to gain lots of power. Okay. While slash calling forth your feral roots, you devastate your foe with a pa with a slash that packs a punch. Or I can summon allies. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And then we have a menu. Okay, so we have this then. All right, okay, okay. I see, I see. It's kind of cool. So let's go talk to... Actually, I kind of want to have a look at the map. So over here we have like the forest colony, I want to say. It could be co colony. Um, then this is a mountain. So obviously there's all colonies. There's a sacred temp... I want to say temple, maybe? Maybe it's temporal area. Woodland canyon uh prayer okay so there's kind of different areas and there's obviously oh there are battles are raging okay so we were kind of abandoned here i guess on this road so maybe there's a way of finding our owner i want to say but uh let's go let's go talk to uh to coco hmm you say your name is fikra that's a good name for you if you don't mind me saying you say you were left here all by your left self dropped off on the side of the road how terrible! Well, if that's your story, you've got a lot of, of learning ahead of you. You'll have to fend for yourself out here in the wild. If you don't know how to forage, hunt, and fight, you can't expect to live more in a few days. You better listen closely to everything I say. Oh wow, okay. <laughs> I can show you how to survive around these parts. First things first. You'll need to know how to forage. There should be some golden golden seal around here. It's a green leaf plant with a bright red berry. We use it to patch up wounds. Okay, so golden seal patches up wounds. Why don't you find some golden seal and bring it to me? Go and gather. Okay, let's have a little bit of a look. Um, he said it was a golden one. So obviously it's not this one, but I am going to just check out this bush just in case. Nothing there. Anything up here? Was I collected E? Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, that's golden seal. Can I collect this? No, I can't. Okay, let's just collect the golden seal then. See how we do. Thank you. That animation though. Right, let's come down here to little little Coco and uh, maybe Coco is uh, a wandering explorer. Maybe he's a little adventurer. Actually, the cats in this game don't have genders, by the way, guys. So I'm just assigning a gender. Co you want Coco to be a female? Coco can totally be a female. Um, that's the whole beauty of this game. They didn't assign any genders, so you can uh, marry anyone you want. It's kind of like Stardew Valley in terms of that. But um, we actually haven't implemented marriage just yet, and uh, certain features of the game are actually inaccessible because it's still a beta. So I just wanted to throw that out there. So let's go back to Coco. Looks like he found some gold in the seal. Why don't you try giving it to me? You'll have to dig it up from your inventory and hold it in your mouth first. Okay, so let's uh, go to items. Uh, oh, we can hold it. There we go. We can press X. <gasps> Look at that! We're holding the little golden seal! Uh, let's see if we can uh, give it to little Coco. I don't know if you want it from being in our mouth, but there, there you go. Great work! You'll be foraging like a pro soon enough. You go ahead and keep that golden seal. Oh, thank you. Thank you. By the way, never know when it may come in handy. I'll leave it in your inventory. There's lots of plants that grow around in the wild. Golden seal, lavender, catnip, and marigold to name a few. They all have unique uses, so make sure to gather some of them and try them out if you see them. Okay, I can do that. Just remember that all plants need time to grow back after they've been uh, harvested. And some plants will only grow in certain seasons. Okay, so plants take time, they do grow back, they just take a little bit of time, and certain plants take growth in certain seasons. Alright, you're also going to need to know to find food for yourself. You need to eat regularly and stay healthy and alive. You can eat some plants like berries and licorice root, but they don't fill you up very fast. You'll mainly want to eat prey that you catch with your own four paws. That's the good stuff. I don't suppose you know how to hunt, do you? Do you have a vegetarian option? I'll show you the way. Why don't you sneak around and find a mouse? Uh, to make me tasty snacks. First, sneak around so they won't hear you coming. Then, find the mouse and get close so you can focus on it. You'll want to get as close as possible without scaring him off. The closer you get, the better chance you have of catching the mouse. Don't worry, mice aren't very good at spotting cats, so you can get pretty close. Then, pounce in the mouse once you've focused and ready. If you did it us right, you'll have a nice meal waiting for you in the grass. <laughs> He's so happy. Don't worry if you miss out on our first try if you try it. Hunting is tricky, and you don't always and you won't always catch your prey. Just keep moving and try again. You got all that? If you need to hear it again, just talk to me and I'll repeat myself for you. Good luck and happy hunting. Okay. So 
how do we... Okay, shift is to... Is to, uh, is to... Hold on. So sneak and... Uh, okay. There's a mouse. Did he run away? in there. Let's come around this plant. Okay. We need to like sneak up on this uh, mouse. Let's come back this way. I don't know, it's gonna see me. Oh no, damn! I should like, okay. We need to like shift. Locate the mouse, come on. Are they both running away? Come on, little dudes. I just wanna eat ya. Just wanna nibble. Just wanna just wanna just wanna just wanna pounce and uh nibble nibble, you know? I'm a I'm a little Ooh, there's a mouse. Okay, so what does it say? Sneak and hold hold shift and locate the mouse. Okay, locate the mouse. Get close and wait for the focus to focus to build off. I'm no good at hunting. So how do I jump? Okay. I want to jump. How do I jump with this? Let's come up here and have a little bit of a look around. Anything? Any little little mouses that are around here? Okay, there's a mouse. He like ran though. I want to... It looks like I just have to shift. And try and find a mouse. Come on, we can do this. There should be a mouse somewhere in this field. If I haven't chased them all away, um, I should be able to find one. Okay, there's normally one that spawns over here. I just don't know what to do when the when the bubble gets uh, uh, strong. Do I press space? Do I, do I jump? Do I, you know, press, press the top? There he is, there's a mouse. Like, when the bubble gets strong, do I, do I run? Do I... Oh, damn, I should have waited until the thing got that ready, okay. So I guess that's what we're going to do. Okay, I guess... Oh, we can only see my when we share. Okay, climb, okay, there is... Ah, there we go, so we can kind of see it, because he's kind of sneaking. Damn! Oh, we can't pounce either. That mouse, that mouse run away. There's a mouse there. Let's see if we can uh, sneak up on him. <gasps> we actually did jump! We, we jumped there. Oh my gosh, we so jumped there. Okay, can we eat like, hide? So we kind of jumped. Kind of. It might take a little bit of practice. Little mice. You around here, little, little, little fiends. It might take me a little bit of practice to get used to this control system. But, you know, that's a-okay. Uh, let's go ahead, let's go ahead, and see if we can find a beautiful, beautiful, tasty, tasty, delicious mouse to eat a nibble. Down here, maybe? Okay, there is a mouse down here. I just want to get close enough to it. Damn! How am I... I need to talk to him again and just see if there's something I'm missing. Because I'm, like, clicking, but I don't know. So let's just see. Okay, I'll show you. First, seek around and find a mouse and get close. Focus on it. Because as close as possible, it's getting off. Plus, we get the very time to catch the mouse. Don't worry, you might be very good to catch the mouse. Three pounds. Then pounce the mouse. Lose your focus and ready. Okay, so we have to wait till we're focused then. I wish there was a way you could uh, practice focusing. There we go! <gasps> We literally could have... Okay, so basically, we have to count some more focus, and then we slash. And to slash... I press space. Okay. So I have to wait till we jump, and then I press space. Okay, perfect. That seems like a, a better understanding. I'm glad I, I read that a little bit easier. Okay, so there's a mouse there. I want to get pretty close to him uh, without him uh, noticing us. No! 
I didn't do it. Didn't do it right. You know what? Second time's always the charm. It's fine. Come on. We gotta do this tutorial area. Is that the tutorial area? I mean... Oh. Sorry, I didn't mean to be going off that way. Okay, there we go. Let's come in here. Okay, so that's where they can see us, I guess. Damn! I didn't press space, I clicked again! Oh, I wonder if we can... Can we get him? Is he gonna run across the road? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I guess he was running away from, uh, from Coco over here. So the red line is where you can see us there. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So you kind of have to stay outside of the red line. Okay, there's a mouse. Let's come down. Let's get all this focus ready. Okay, at least he didn't run away. I misclicked there. Okay, let's just wait for this, uh... Oh! How do I pounce? Yes! I got him! <gasps> I got him! Okay, let's uh, we, uh, do we have to hold the mouse? There we go. Oh, look at us! We're carrying the mouse! That's hilarious! Okay, uh, here we go, Coco. <laughs> Nicely done! You're a natural hunter, Free Crab. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but you'll need a whole more than just wooden easy mouse to keep yourself well fed and in top shape. Good to get your head. You can find all sorts of prey to hunt all throughout the wilderness. Most will see coming from a lot further away than the mouse will. So let's stay alert and keep learning. Okay, all this hard work is probably making you hungry. Why don't you try eating that mess? Just call. You need to eat in order to find cattails. You can see how hungry your cat is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. When it reaches zero, you'll start taking damage from starvation. Okay, so we're a little hungry. Oh, okay, we're, we're a, little, a lot more than a little hungry. Um, is there any way I can eat it? Let's eat. Okay, we got back up. Make sure you keep an eye on how hungry you are, Fikra. It could be different between life and death. Now then, do you have any special skills? Any sort of train that cats that you'll bring uh, go through? No? Not at all? Well, that's not surprising. I'm about to teach you a Coco specialty skill called Sprint. You can use it to gain a quick burst of speed. You can use Sprint to cover your ground quickly. If you run away from a fight, it's too big for you. Or to catch prey, it's escaping. You learn Sprint skills, but add your active skill bar in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can use it by clicking Sprint in the icon in your active skill bar, or pressing wood. Try that now. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see if we can find a, uh, a mouse first to, uh, to supplement our little diet. Can we not find one? Maybe we can. Maybe they're all gone. Let's just press okay, we are going pretty quickly here. Oh, okay, you can sprint and you can kind of shift them as well. Okay. Yes! That's just how it's done. You can sprint every now and again, uh, but after you use it, you'll have to wait a few seconds before using it again. Every act of skill you learn will work in a similar way. Normally, you'll have to gain experience to learn new skills, and you can only equip a new skill while you're inside your den. You'll gain experience by hunting, fighting, foraging, and even by sleeping. There are lots of skills available, such as combat skills, travel skills, support skills, and more. You can even have, you can have any four active skills at a time, so you'd want to experiment with different combos to find what works best for you. You can also use experience to upgrade your passive skills, which are hunting, fighting, foraging, and swimming. You can manage your skills in the skills panel. Remember, Passive skills can be upgraded from anywhere at any time, but active skills can only be equipped or unequipped at your den. You should also know something else about wilderness. The cats that live here don't like intruders very much. Any cat found trespassing on another cat's territory can be attacked on sight. It's our way of life. That's what you need to know how to fight. Most cats join a colony that provides guards and a base of operation for protection. Often, those colonies clash, border skirmishes, or even all out wars are not that uncommon. I need to know what I'm working with here. How about you have a spar real quick? Fair warning, I won't go easy on you just because you're new. Come over here and let me know when you're ready. Okay, so space to splat, uh, to do that, okay. Oh gosh, okay. Hey Coco, you ready to spar at me? Let's spar. Alright, few points before we begin. 
Cats fight by pawing at each other with claws. It takes some time to complete attack, and during that time you won't be able to react to my attacks, so as your attacks just right. You want to make sure you use your agility to escape my attacks, anticipate my swipes, and get out before they hit. Remember, I'll be vulnerable while attacking, because I won't be able to turn around or move. Same goes for you. Ready? 3, 2, 1, go! Attack! Okay. Okay, he does a lot of damage! Okay, I need to like bring up. Oh, here we go. Got him. Come on, Coco. Okay, Coco's kind of running away. He kind of got that. Damn, Coco. Okay, every time I. Okay. We need to like bring him down a lot more. Come on, we can do this. We can spar. Oh, we did it. We did it. You put up a good fight, Fikra. You've a lot to learn, but you're not bad for a beginner. You can always become better at fighting by spending experience in your passive fighting skill in your skills panel. Fighting can be an excellent way to flex your political muscle too. Every day a few battles will begin along the borders of colonies. If you participate, you can help colony gain influence over an area. Speaking of colonies, surely you want to join one? It's a great way to get started in the wild. I know of all three major colonies here, I have a, spa, a spare den to give you if you like. We're actually not far from the forest colony right now. I'll lead you there and help you get settled in. I'm sure the leader mayor wouldn't mind having a new face around town. There are good cats in the forest colony. We'll fit right in. Follow me, Fiacra. Okay. Can't see why not. Oh, where are we? It's... Oh, we're in Fiacra's den. Oh, that's so cute. Here we are. This is your new den, Fiacra. You'll want to visit your den often. Here you can sleep and save your progress. You can also use a space to store items if you like. This is where we'll have the part ways, Fikra. Hope you remember your training well. It's good to meet you. We may see each other again soon. You had a busy day. Why don't you get some sleep? Wait. What? What? Oh, did he use the teleporting thing? Okay. Let's save our game. And let's actually, uh, let's go to sleep. Oh, little Fikra. You're so cute. But that's going to be the end of today's episode, guys. So thank you so much for tuning in for the first episode of Cat Tales. In the next episode, we will explore outside of our den and see what happens. But that's it for me today, guys. Bye.